okay so a bit strange i'm i'm still stuck in the in the darkened shed still no power out here so um i th thought i'd come out I, um it's the launch of the new filamentum uh, transparent green filament tomorrow so i thought i'd come out and uh, take some photos of what i printed so far unfortunately it got cut a little bit short because um i got lost power to the shed when i was uh, when i was hoping to to do quite a lot of printing but uh, I've still I've still got a few there, and uh, I've come out to take photos so that so that I can be showing them off as soon as the uh, as soon as the filament is launched. So my my printing unfortunately was curtailed by the uh, by the, the loss of power in the workshop. But you can see I've I've, I've missed a few prints. Obviously, the two hundred percent Robot Tommy is uh, is now de rigueur. Um, these. Uh, little 50% versions of my Deathbringer uh, fighter plane. I really love this model, it actually prints vertically, so it's good fun. But then, as you can see, so that's Vertigo Galaxy, and there's the green. green uh, and this was a model that um, was it Keeper Key Eye, Keen Eye on my Twitter may have seen this before, printed by Tom Jackson, and uh, he printed it in. It, it, the similar colours, I think it was black and uh, a rigid ink green maybe, pet G, um, but it looks fantastic. This was the colour it was designed for, so my, my thoughts around this this tower really were around showing off the the green in this this profile, and I think it's I think it works really well. So this as well as the I had a kind of revelation while I was printing this. To be honest, um, this is my tall ball, which is one of my test prints I guess you'd say. Um, it's kind of what I, I like to run to, to see what something looks like and give me a bit of a reference. Um, but I'd never run it hollow before um, so I, on the smaller version I actually ran it hollow uh, but still printed some top layers and it suddenly came to me that hang on a minute I could actually quite easily run that hollow put no top layers on, the, on the, a big one and it just gives me different views into it. I think it shows off, in particular, this transparent filament, it shows it off really well. So I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with that. And uh, obviously the advantage is that it doesn't use anywhere near as much filament and uh, I'll be able to print a lot more of them. So that's good news. So that was just a short update and uh, hopefully I'll get the power back soon and uh, get back printing. So thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like the content that I'm producing, I'd be really appreciative if you subscribe. So thanks a lot, guys.